Today I'm going to make a video on how to connect YouTube on a desktop PC or a laptop PC to a Roku device. In other words, what you're going to be able to do is open up your browser on your laptop or desktop and cast from YouTube to your Roku device. Now I'm assuming you already have the YouTube app on your Roku device. I'm using a Roku 4 but I know it works on the Roku 3 and also on the streaming stick so most modern Roku devices should be able to do this. So first thing you need to do is uh, go to your Roku device and make sure that it's updated to the latest firmware also that the apps are updated and I'll show you how to do that right here right now. Okay, so you're on your home screen and from the home screen, you're going to go up one to settings, right over one to network, up again to system, uh, right over one to about, and then click up five times till you get the system update. Okay, here we're going to hit OK. And then you're going to click OK again and that will check now for an update. Now what this is going to do is going to either A, uh, tell you everything is up to date or B tell you there's an update of some kind like a firmware update or a uh, app update like a YouTube app update so click OK here and you get software update mine is up to date if you get a firmware upgrade come back here again a second time and do this update a second time to see if your apps need to be updated as well here I don't need to because it would have normally told me at that point or this point your apps need to be updated so now we're done doing that essential first step hit uh, home button and then go back over to the youtube app wherever yours is or on your roku click on that and load it up all right so now we're loaded up into the uh, youtube app on the roku you want to scroll to the left one and then down to settings and click on that all right, and once you're on that, you're going to see sign in, link to TV and phone, help, what you see here on the screen, basically. And we're going to go to link TV and phone and click on that. And you've got, you've got three options here right now. And one of the options is link with Wi-Fi, link with TV code, and cancel. Well, uh, the link with Wi-Fi is for uh, cell phone devices. So we're going to go down to link with TV code. And you'll get a unique TV code. Yours will be different than this one, okay? So at this point, just stop here, write down the code, or if you've got your laptop in front of you, uh, you know, just type this code in. So I'm gonna switch back over to the laptop now. And on your address bar and whatever browser you're using, just go to youtube.com and type in pair, P-A-I-R, enter. And that gets you to this pairing screen for YouTube. Now at this point it gives you the, the directions on how to do this. So at this point it, what we're going to do is go down here to link the, with TV code. Okay. And we're going to use the code we got there. I'm going to use mine. You use the one you have. It'll be unique and different than mine. Mine will not work on yours so don't even try. I mean you want to. Okay. But it's not going to work. It's unique every time. So I've got my code in there. I'm going to click add this TV. And when I do that, it should link up with my Roku. Okay. And that whole, um, in the, the, I'll show you what happened there on the Roku. All right. That's what happened. Next, we're going to go uh, and label this uh, on your um, uh, desktop to make sense to what you're going to. So here I'm going to say YouTube. Uh, no, I'm going to say Roku TV here. Now, obviously, I've paired it a few times here, but here we go. So make it a name that makes sense. There. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Roku YouTube TV. Rename. Saved. Click Done. And I'm going to go to one of my videos here so we can, you know, test this out. So I'm going to go back. There we go. And you can see that I'm queued up here and it's already playing on my uh, Roku. So I'm just gonna pause it here, show you the features. Um, you know, I'll show you what happens on, on the uh, Roku as well. Unfortunately, because I'm recording uh, through a recording device uh, from the Roku to the TV, you won't get any video output 
that's fine. We don't get into any kind of copyright issues, but regardless, you see how it functions. Um, so now I've got this uh, video that I'm showing you on, on the desktop on the Roku ready to go. And as you, you just heard it playing uh, the sound from it right there. So options here are all set up here. And anytime you want to cast something to your TV, you can cast it from here uh, using this icon or, and you can control it over here uh, with these options like, you know, a next video or forward video, you can cue things into this. Uh, it says remove all or disconnect. There are another options over here on the, on the right. And let's go back to the cast. And as you can see, you have the Roku YouTube TV. That's what it's going to, or I can just choose to, to play it here. So let's just do that. And it disappears from my Roku and comes back to my screen. And if I click it again, uh, of course it starts playing. I'm going to pause that. We're going to go here to Roku TV and it will start playing on the Roku as well. So you hit pause there. I'll use my Roku remote. There we go. And you can hear that stop playing in the background. So those are the features uh, and, and you know what abilities you get when you uh, connect from a desktop PC or a laptop PC to your Roku. One of the main reasons why I do it is convenience. The search feature on the Roku uh, YouTube app is okay, but it's nowhere near as, as, as good as being able to just type on a keyboard in the search uh, bar on YouTube, like right here, you know, whatever you want to do, like 36 volt, you know, whatever, uh, eBay, LG, you know, battery pack or eBay, uh, whatever, you know, it's much easier to search here. Find the video you wish to get, you know, you can, you know, you can see which videos you're going to get with that search. And then once you've got the video, cast it from here to your Roku. Okay, that's it for my video. If you like this video and it helped you out in some way, click on the uh, like button right down here in the bottom right and give me a thumbs up. I appreciate it. It helps my videos and it helps my channel. Um, also, somewhere here on the screen, you should see a picture of me. That's a subscription link. If you subscribe to my channel, then once you click the subscription link, you'll get a bell icon. It's an added thing that YouTube has done. The bell icon is a notification uh, bell. If you click on that, anytime I put a new video up, you'll be notified that I put a new video up and then you can watch it at your own leisure. Okay, like always, I want to thank you all for watching and for your time.